Hashem should be the best friend of us, and especially that we know that we don't have no one else to count on except of our Father in Heaven. And the main thing is that a person, so many times in life, is trying to count on Hashem and to follow Hashem's advice, and he finds himself empty-handed. He tries. The rabbi told him, you need to wake up early. The parents told him, you need to go to shul. His friends told him, you go, need to go to learn in yeshiva. I don't know. Great. Okay. And he's trying, and he finds himself not being answered. He finds himself losing his mind. He finds himself losing his hope. He's finding himself going even lower, losing his, his happiness. His smile on his face is lost. So, how can it be? The verse is saying that Kolabotach Bashem Chesed Yisobevenu. Everyone that counts on Hashem, only kindness is going to surround him. So how are we finding ourselves falling and failing? The answer is clear. You're just not following Hashem. You're following rabbis. You're following your parents. You're following your friends. You're following books, but you're not following Hashem. Where is Hashem? Hashem lives inside of us. After we built the second temple, Hashem Ibrach said to all of us, after the first and second temples, Hashem Ibrach said to all of us, I live inside of you. Inside of my nation. Inside of your heart. Inside of your soul. Inside of your brain. Inside of your kidneys. Inside of your liver. That liver that's where Hashem is. When you open your eyes and you look to the sides, you cannot see Hashem. You can see the external world that caused in the Zohar Kadosh, the world of lie, Alma de Shikra. You see faces, you hear opinions, you hear contradictions, you see wars, you see fights, struggles on money, on power, on control. You don't see Hashem. When you want to see Hashem, you need to close your eyes. And the voice of Hashem will come in silent. From inside you will hear your heart is calling you. Lecha amar libi bakshu panay tamid. Your heart is calling you from inside. Look for the Creator. That's your inner voice. You don't need other people to guide you unless you want to know something. So go to a wise person with life experience on that topic that he will give you an advice. But to know Hashem, you should know yourself. Da'at, mechat, chila. Then you'll have da'at. You need to know yourself. You find to your true self. Because inside of your true self, there is a holy soul of a holy angel that it's really you. That you are part of heaven. You have a holy soul that calls the chalek eloka mimal. Part of heaven from above. Part of God. Like a beam of light from the sun, that's the sun itself. The beam of the light of the Creator is you. Is who that you are. And you need to know it. You need to work on your self-awareness to look for the inner positive voice of hope. The one that kept you alive until today. The one that is refusing to surrender to people. The one that is refusing to, to support institutes and movements that are not based on holiness and on purity. The rebel voice that lives inside of you that wants to connect itself only to the real good and not to the ones that fake, not to the one that lies, not to the ones that pretends to be righteous and are actually bent and twisted and phony and playing and messing up with our souls. We're not allowed to bend ourselves under people, only under holy, righteous people. How are you going to know? Ask your heart. Do I feel that that person is bringing me closer to Hashem or not? How do you know? He will tell you for sure, yes, listen to me. I have thousands of students like you. Great. Like me? But I'm unique. I'm an individual. First line, you already caught him. How can it be that he had thousands of students like me if there is no other one person in the world like me? I'm an individual. I'm a unique soul. I receive gifts, holy sparks inside of my soul that no one else in this creation has. 
I need to find my own path. How I'm going to find my own path? I need to find my true self. How I'm going to find my true self? The verse is saying, The Spirit reveals itself when you speak. If now I spoke with you, two minutes we spoke, I just said a few sentences, you already know something about me. If I would sit in here standing quietly, wouldn't say one word, you wouldn't know anything about me. My outfit doesn't really say anything about me. My hair doesn't really say anything about me. My look, nothing. But the voice starts telling things. The words that I'm choosing, <laughs> that I'm saying, are revealing my real spirit, my intention, my will, my desire, my thought. About yourself, you should do the same. You should have an open discussion, a conversation with yourselves. Who am I? And to be brave, and not to be afraid from the answers. To say I messed up, to say I'm stupid, to say I'm dumb, that's not the truth. To say I want to be happy, that's the truth. To say I want to want Hashem, that's the truth. To say I want to have hope, that's the truth. To say today I'm a bit confused, I find it hard to find myself, that's the truth. To say I have desires, to say I'm lost, to say I'm afraid, it's a way to express your real feelings, but it's not who that you are. You're lost and you don't know the answers only on the questions that you never asked yourself. But the things that you already clarified for yourself, you know them and don't move away from them. Don't move away from your real honest truth of who that you really are that you know that you're just a person that never asked to be humiliated, that never wanted to be rejected, that just looked for love and for support and for kindness and for honor and for friendship and for trust. And that's who that you really are. So don't drop that. Don't drop your own dreams to become that nice, friendly person that you ask to be, that you really want to be. Don't drop those dreams. No one outside is worthy that you're going to give up on your real dreams for. You must be honest and to keep on searching for the real answer of your life. To find meaning for your life. To find a path even though that you failed so many times. Rabbi Nachman of Breslev said that every person that wants to become kosher, wants to be holy, he must go through thousands of up and downs in his life. Thousands of up and downs. You think that rabbis are not having up and downs? You think that righteous people never fail? Even King David failed. He said, Khatati, I sinned. He did tshuva. We need just to do tshuva. To do tshuva it's not to hate yourself. To do tshuva it's to face your weaknesses. It's to deal with your lackings. It's your way out from darkness. To do tshuva it's not to become religious. It's not to keep Torah and mitzvot. That's another thing. Tshuva is one of the 613 obligations that we've been obligated by Hashem. But it's not all, it's one of them. To do tshuva is to have a conversation with the Creator, to open your heart and to tell Him, listen, I messed up this time. And it's not the first time I failed. I'm finding myself weak in that point. I'm finding myself confused. I'm losing my control. I need help, Hashem. <laughs> to have that power to face reality, to deal with your weaknesses. That's an heroic thing. That's a powerful, big thing. 99% of the people are not doing that. They're not in a better condition than us. They're not in a better position than, than us. They're just not facing the truth. 
I rather to die while searching for the truth than to spend my life as a liar, as a coward, as a person that runs away from commitments, that runs away from honesty, from saying the truth. I rather to apologize if I hurt someone. I rather to pay if I took something from someone. I rather to pay my debts. I rather to be a person that is able to keep his word, that my word will mean something to someone. I rather to be generous and nice, to be a good friend, to keep my promises, to have respect, than that people will think that I have respect, than that people will say that I'm righteous. I don't care about that. I'm not here to fake. I'm here really to put my effort on serving, on doing, on taking responsibility on my actions in this world to be a man of truth, to be honest. If I find something hard to say, it's hard. I don't know how I can do it. Now if I find that I want to do it, I can learn about it. I can pray to achieve it. I can consult wise people, people with real life experience. I'm going to go. I'm going to investigate. I'm going to learn. I'm going to find. If you put the effort, you will find it. You should believe in that. But with no effort, there is no reward. If someone is paying your debts, if someone is helping you, the people will not even know the real truth about you and will respect you even that your wife should disrespect you. Even that you know that you're not worthy for that honor. To take that honor, it's a disgrace. That's a thief. That's a liar. Even if he's a rabbi, a rabbi means nothing. It's a title. It's a name. The first letter of the word Rebbe can be or Rosh B'nei Israel, the head of the holy nation of Israel, or Resha'im B'choshech Edamu, evil people that will go down to hell, to darkness. We must keep ourselves close to holy rabbis, not to liars not to thieves, only to righteous people that are representing the truth and good attributes and kindness and patience and love and support. The truth. Only those people we allow to follow. The people that followed Korach, they went with him to hell. The people that will follow rabbis that are liars will go after those rabbis straight to hell. The stomach of hell is very wide, very big, very big. You want the truth? Seek for it. Look for it. With all of your power, with all of your strength, with the talents and power that God planted inside of you, if you find Hashem in music, you must listen to music. If you find Hashem in nature, you must go out to the nature. If you find Hashem reading a certain book, you must read that book. And the fact that someone told you not to read that book is not a good enough reason to close that book. If you find Hashem through it, Bodedut, and talking to Hashem, the fact that someone else is not holding from it, Bodedut, it's not a good enough reason for you to cut yourself from Hashem. Because of him, he will not be the only one to suffer because of cutting you from Hashem. You will be cut from Hashem. You need to hold that lifeline that you found and not to lose it and not to let go. Whatever brings you to real life, to true honest happiness, that's the path that God, the creator of the universe, wants you to walk in to listen to your heart, to the voice of your heart that is telling you, look for me, look for Hashem. Your heart is telling you, listen to your heart. Listen to your heart, not to my voice. My voice is nonsense. 
Go listen to your true self. When I finish my speech here, go listen to yourself. Ask yourself, who am I? What do I want to do? Why am I finding it too hard to achieve? What are my difficulties? What are my weaknesses? Okay, how can I solve? What helped me in the past? What I think and I feel that will help me in the future? To go to mikveh, was it helpful? To eat kosher, was it good? To keep Shabbat, was it joyful? To hear music, which kind of music? What gave me inspiration? What gave me hope? To go to the Ohel, to go to Rabbeinu, to Uman, to go to the Yeshiva, to learn Gemara, to learn Chumash, to do it by the do, to go to the field, to the forest, to the beach. Who am I? Where am I finding my inspiration? Where my soul is shining? Where I find the power and the will to connect myself to the roots of my soul, to the Creator through my own unique individual channel that God made just for me. To come closer to the Creator, it's pnimiyut. It's from your own inside. Not through books that are talking about pnimiyut. Real pnimiyut! Inside your soul! To close your eyes and to look deep into your own conscience. To find your true self, that's the mission of your life. To know who you are. To understand the meaning of your name. To find a purpose and a mission in life. Even if that mission is only to cross this day. Even if the mission is not to kill myself. Even if my mission is just to start something again. And to give myself another chance, it's good enough. For me, it's good enough. And I'm telling you that if you believe that there is a Creator, so you must understand that He knows how hard it is for you to cross one day. Because He knows your inclinations. And He knows exactly what you go on in your thoughts. And that not everyone are like you. And he's not expecting you to be no one else except of who that you are. The evil inclination, the snake, he found the best advice. How to destroy people. What is he doing? He lets us all think that we need to change and to be someone else. I want to be rich. I want to be wealthy. I want to be healthy. I want to get married. I want to have children. I hate myself. <coughs> I don't want to be myself. I don't want to have my weaknesses. I hate my face. I cannot look at the mirror. I hate my voice. I hate my laugh. I hate my condition. That's the success of the evil inclination that he trapped you in a loop. He found the only thing that you cannot achieve and aimed you for that purpose. To be someone else. Only one thing in this world you cannot be. Someone else. He made you think that you need to be someone else. The only solution for that condition is to be yourself. To fight with all of your power against those voices and to seek and to find your real true self. That's the solution. That's the will of Hashem that made you who that you are and that's His will from you that you will find the path and break all of the obstacles and remove all the filth and all the darks and all the hard things that you have in your life and look for Him. How are you going to find Him? You need to find your true self. When you're going to find your true self you're going to know how to find Him. Your inner voice will guide you. Your heart will tell you, look for His face. The face of Hashem is smiling face. The face of the Creator is a positive face, is a healthy face, is a shiny face with hope, with truth, with honesty, with pride. Only by connecting yourself to your true self, you will find Him. Through connecting yourself to your own soul, 
That's the beam of light that is connecting you back to that holy, shining Creator, Father in Heaven. Not to give up on yourself, to give yourself another chance, it's to believe in Hashem. It's to count on Him that He will be there for you. So why I was disappointed so many times? Why I lost my path? Hashem said to Yaakov Avinu, I'm sending you down to Egypt, but don't worry, I'm going to bring you back up to the Holy Land. Also us. We must go through that exile as a public, as a nation, and as individuals. But Hashem is with you. Only the thought that you are not good and that you need to change is making you be frustrated from your condition. But if you would understand that now, even in prison, you have a mission. I have a very close friend that found me when he was in prison. He was in prison. And while he was spending his time in prison, that's when he found me. And he started following my classes. And he became one of my best friends now. Only because that he was humble and he looked for Hashem in the depths, in the darkness. Not to be upset and sorry and sad and angry on your condition. Just to realize that you're in a mission. A big mission. An important mission. And when your soul will shine, that light of Hashem will shine upon all of your beloved ones. All of those people that are with you in the same place. You're not alone in that dark place. You know that you're not alone in that place. You're not alone in the darkness of exile. There are people in worse situations than you. When your soul will shine, it will shine upon those beloved ones that are around you. And when they see a beam of light, a spark in the darkness, it will inspire them to look and to find their true selves. And they will start coach themselves and build themselves and strengthen themselves. And their light will shine to other circles and that light will expand until the darkness and the night will shine like the day. <laughs> and everyone will believe in Him. And it's not far. It's not far from you. It's in your mouth and in your heart to keep and to do. Just be honest. Say only the truth. Even if your truth is to say, I'm a liar. I'm a pathetic liar. If that's your truth, it will bring you closer to Hashem to admit. To say, I'm saying the truth, and to lie, it will reject you from Hashem. Because a liar person cannot stand in front of Hashem. Only a man of truth can stand in front of the Creator. A man of truth is a man that is able to admit in his lies, in his weaknesses, his defaults and to do tshuva to say to Hashem Hashem I sin Hashem I messed up I was ungrateful I disrespect you please give me another chance to ask for another chance it's to believe in the mercy of the creator to give up on yourself it's to give up on Hashem that's the worst thing of the world there is no despair in the world at all. It means that there is always hope. Just you need to understand what is your mission. Every soldier after the war, when he's gone, coming back home, he's not clean. Few months that he didn't take a shower, maybe even few years that he didn't have a decent shower. He's wounded. He's carrying his scars on his skin, on his flesh, on his spirit. In his heart, the things that his eyes saw in the war were not nice. Not in Saudi Arabia, not in Iraq, not in Kuwait. 
and not in Lakewood. It's dark outside. It's embarrassing outside. People are not strong outside. We've been defeated many, many times. But as long as the flame of your soul is lit, is shining, you still have hope. So don't give up on yourself. Give yourself a chance. One baby step after the other, not more than that. Only as much as you can do, do. And one day will lead you to the next. And one week will bring you to the next. And one month and one year. And suddenly you're going to look back and you're going to say, I'm not perfect, but I'm not the same as I was three years ago, seven years ago. Thank God. I'm keeping my words today. I'm not lying as I was lying before. I'm more relaxed and calm. I'm less explosive. I'm smiling more. I'm allowing myself to laugh once in a while. That's the real true success, that you're not giving up on yourself, on yourself and on your friends, on your family, on your beloved ones on whoever that is close to you, that wants your help, that needs your help. Not to give up on yourself, it's not to give up on Hashem. And Hashem Yitvach bless us all with the power to walk with that honesty, with a happy heart, to say the truth, not to criticize ourselves, not to blame ourselves. Hashem exiled us, we haven't exiled ourselves. Hashem sent us to that mission. We're in a job, we're in a test. And we should bring good results to collect those sparks, those diamonds of truth from the depths of the darkness. Not to give up on our brothers and sisters, not to give up on ourselves, not to drop the wheel. To want Hashem as much as we can, to be who that He made us to be, not to try to be others, just to be honest with your emotions, with your feelings, with your holy desires, to give yourself a credit on your honesty, to give yourself a chance. It's to give chance for life, it's to give chance to Hashem. Thank you very much. In this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.